Morning guys. I think you need to tell everyone how cold it is. <laughs> so negative seven degrees this morning. We were trying to put We were trying to put our gaiters on and they were freezing in our hands. Well it was like cardboard. We had all sorts of drivers, just swear words and everything happening. Out. <laughs> Jack and myself have headed up the ridge nice and early this morning. We're looking up the head of the valley here and we've just spotted a mob of bulls. So it looks like there's a couple of real nice bulls in there. So we're going to head up over the top. We're going to drop onto that. There's another ridge over the back there that we can get a closer look. First thing in the morning, day two on this hunting and fishing mission. We're actually pretty amped. Now we're still obviously still filming for this hunting and fishing project, which you'll see at some point. So this is the behind the scenes, like I said in part one of this little series, behind the scenes. So follow us on the adventure and see what it takes to make this film. Hey Jack. It's um it's a bit of an eye up there. This guy's good. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> What's that? Do you even know what you're doing mate? Do you even know what you're blowing doing? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's load up. I reckon we've probably got three four hundred meters elevation to climb all right let's go guys that's a nice bull that one's a real good bull that one we're basically just assessing these bulls as best we can on our way up there, keeping an eye on them. Just slowly moving their way around the face. And now our new game plan is we're probably gonna drop down the same ridge they're on. Once we're within a couple hundred yards, we'll um, we'll set up and if we can get a shot, that's probably where we're gonna take it from. But for now, we're just, we're trying to assess the bulls and it looks like there's at least, at least two good ones, probably three or four good ones actually, but. There's a couple there that look real nice from what we can see at this distance. Which is, how far you reckon we are? 960 metres. Yeah. So, yeah, over a thousand yards for you American chaps out there. I think he's a bit younger again. Younger bull there. It's a bull perched up on the rock. It's quite cool. He's just sitting up there in the sun. Okay, we're just packing up. We're packing our gear. We're getting ready for that last bit of hike. Top of that ridge up there. Had a drink of water, got the liquids going. Dropped the jackets. We're ready for some action. Super Russell's about to make some yellow snow. You got an audience. It's quite a nice ridge. It's quite sharp, like it's sharper than it looks. Yeah, I know. Matt's bull on that dream bull video. Yeah. We we went up that ridge and carried that bull out up that ridge. Looks like he's just coming back, coming back up to the, to the top of the ridge, man. Safety off. Joe carried everything. We managed to go up. You'll be right. We've just summited this ridge peak and there's a heap of fresh tar sign in the snow around here. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to peek our nose over this little brow in front of us and have a look down the sunny face because this sign's pretty freaking fresh, man. A few tar down there, eh? Young bulls and nannies. They're pretty happy in the sun down there. We just stopped at this little rocky piece here. Bind us into the rocks. We just stopped at this rocky piece here and we're glassing down to check on the bulls. We can see a couple of them, they're all bedded in the sun there. The others must just be over the ridge. But I've just looked a bit lower and there's actually two stags, two red stags just sitting there in the sun. Warming up, I guess. Yeah, the tar are bedded. We're just trying to make make the right game plan because obviously there's a lot of country between us and them. 
and it's not the easiest country to navigate so we want to make sure we get the we get the plan right i'll point them out for you the tar are here and the stags are down here hopefully we can see them all from there hopefully they can't see us coming down that ridge but that's pretty much our only option we can't come in from the bottom or can't shoot across to them we have to go down the same ridge that they're on which is always a dangerous move but we'll give it a shot that doesn't matter no it's still a nice bull yeah. those bulls are pretty happy there at the moment but it's time to make a move let's talk about we're going to get onto the ridge and slowly make our way down okay i'm on you when you're ready come on we finally made it up this ridge that we've been um, watching these bulls on. Probably six or seven hundred meters vertical gain. It's a springtime hunt. We've been knee deep in snow. We started the day at minus seven and now it's uh, probably closer to high teens, early twenties. Um, Joe and I have both got a bit of a sweat on, so see if we can get in on these guys, eh? Sweet. Heavy? I think so. All right. Start walking off. Bit of behind the scenes action for you. Freaking hot man, I'm sunburnt. We'll drop our packs, eh? Have a look over the edge. Some nannies down there. There's a bull. I can see a bull down there. Rock. That, um, that big rock. Yes. Let's get our gear and get down further. I reckon that's a pretty good shot across there. A couple hundred metres. What do you reckon? Yeah, that's doable. Well, how do we even how do we even start it, Jack? We we got down in position. We had a helicopter fly past. All the bulls scarpered out of sight. I was swearing. What were you doing? <laughs> I didn't even know what chopper it was. Can't believe it, man. We're sunburned. It's freaking hot. Snow, deep snow. We finally get down into the, onto the little knob. 200 and what? 250. 250. Straight line, easy shot on the bulls. And the helicopter chased them off. So we've just spent the last two hours climbing back up the mountain. We're back up on the main ridge. And now we're gonna go and poke our nose over into the next catchment and have a look for the old bull from day one pretty devastating man to be honest you know we were we were basically setting up for a shot Sorry. so we're on to another mission <laughs> stay tuned <laughs> i was going to do some vlogging down there but i was in too much of a mood i didn't want to get the camera out so we're filling in now guys we're about to peek over into that catchment and see what we can find. Hopefully a bull tar for today. I couldn't believe that helicopter, man. So we got we got two bulls over in the snow. It looks like we can get to them as well. Good to see a couple more bulls. We're all feeling pretty fairly pretty down in the dumps after that last mission. So it's good to see a couple of nice bulls. What's your thoughts on them? The front bull's a bit heavier, a little bit older, potentially a little bit longer. Um, he's the better of the two. 
The horns come up quite high, which means it's going to give him a little bit of length. He's not a 14 incher. No. He's probably worth having a crack at. Let's go do it. We're going to make a move, guys. Let's hope a helicopter doesn't fly over this time, mate. <laughs> Both feeding. Can you see that the biggest rocky area? The biggest rocky area, that big strip of rock. Yeah. If you come to the about halfway, halfway up that rocky area, go hard to the right. We got the bulls. Uh, one of them is about 12 yards off the rocks, 15 yards. See the big rocky strip. snow goes across it. You can see there's a bit of snow going across it. And it comes straight across to the right. You got them? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, well, let's, should we get the rifle ready? Bow down, boys! <laughs> <laughs> Bull down. Okay, we're gonna like we've got not much light. We're gonna pack up right now, real quick. Boost down there, and um, we'll see you at the bull. Let's go, man. Yeah, happy or what? I'm too scared to let him go, he's gonna go in the creek. Right, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jack, what happened there, man? We, um, we put a massive effort in today and talk about the last minute throw the dice. We come up across two bulls that out of the scrub. This is the bigger of the two. Very blessed to be here right now. Amazing. 
we're just about out of light so it's um, going to be a quick job to get this guy sorted headlights on and uh, get out of here we've um, we've sent a message on the in reach so people know that we're okay but um, it's going to be a fair slog so I should be helping you. Here I am just farting around. That's right. How's it going? Yeah, we're doing alright. Bloody <laughs> hanging off a bluff, but that's alright. Yeah. <laughs> hanging off a bluff. Ooh wee. We're just having um getting a bit of dinner on the go while the tar's being skinned out. Jack's doing that. And then we're gonna have our feed and then we're into a big climb to get out of here. Bit of tar meat there. Backstake's cooling in the fridge. Yeah, so it's been a big day and we haven't really had any we haven't really had any good meals in us, unfortunately we've been too hard out. Bit of butter chicken for me tonight. What flavour did you bring? Oh, pasta. Pasta. Yeah. Pasta. Might be good mate. Getting there, eh? Got any words to say to the people out there? Kids don't try this at home. <laughs> <sighs> no, there's nothing better than um, Enjoying the spores of a successful hunt with your mate. Creek in the background, good fresh clean air, jet ball, low meals, go native. What more could you ask for? Joe's a happy man. Mate, she's a steep hill that one. Hey. We've, uh, you've outdone yourself this time, mate. Good stuff, mate. Thank you very much. Yeah, good work, Jack. How long? Hunting and fishing, they should be. Uh, they'll be interested to see how we get on. They'll be wanting to know if you got a bull yet or not. Out there doing it. Yeah, I think. Right. I think next time, the next one we get will be at the bow, eh? I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon we should yeah. try and do that. Yeah. Good man. Pack feels good. Pack's heavy, but it feels good. Jack's got some meat in his one, the rifle, and um, yeah, we're both going to be. Taking a pretty slow trip, I reckon, with this ice and snow and darkness. Can't do this at home. <laughs> yeah. Kids, make sure you got a parent with you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go.